Hello, Cayman Life, and good morning. Um, I am joined once again with the amazing Natalie Urquhart. And today, after much anticipation, this is the official first day of Cayman Art Week, the first time ever being celebrated. So remind us again, Natalie, what is Cayman Art Week? So Cayman Art Week is a week-long series of events that is designed to celebrate art, um, visual art specifically, across the Cayman Islands. And it's really being launched in this moment in response to the challenges that these small creative businesses have been facing due to the pandemic, as have our businesses across the island. But it's really a great way to come out to learn about local art, meet the artists and the gallery owners directly, decide what kind of art you like, consider collecting art, um, and just coming out to celebrate this incredible outpouring of creativity. Yes, um, and yesterday was such a fantastic day already with the preview day. I was lucky enough um, to be able to go um, to Award Art Gallery, which is right next to Bread and Chocolate Daily Grind with the big giant teddy bear. Mm -hmm. And right next to it is a kin. And I, I did promise um, I would be stopping by sometime today. To Excellent. Be feeling a little left out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, and the parking guy was like, all right, move it along. Um, but yeah, so we're, uh, we're gonna go there. And then I also got uh, the privilege of going to um, the preview of Haunting Haunting, the haunting grounds or haunting yes. grounds, actually, um, at Calypso Grill. And that was really great. I was super happy to see a good amount of people there. Some art did get sold. I know John Broad yeah. sold, sold the piece. Um, so that's exactly what we're looking for, I imagine. <laughs> and, it is. Um, and as you said, these are all sort of spaces that are temporary for this week. So it's a chance to really kind of get in, not only to support the established galleries, which we'll talk a bit more about in a minute, but also these these very temporary spaces, as you said, which is allowing so many more artists to exhibit their work for these few days. Yeah, definitely. And it was a great evening. Lots of awesome people. You know, art people are, yeah. are the best people. So uh, just very warm. And Teresa Grimes, you know, is part of Calypso Grill, so she's very invested in it but we got to see the other artists as well that are exhibiting. And I really encourage everyone to, to come out and support them. They're, they're relaxed evenings, you know, just appreciating art, um, appreciating the different venues. Uh, I know that somebody was saying, well, which ones are the galleries? And, you know, there's a lot of, I mean, you, if you just go along Seven Mount Beach, you have in Galleria Plaza, the Kennedy, you have in West, or in West, West Shore, Shore. Yeah, in West Shore. And Kennedy's one of the longest running galleries in Cayman, mm -hmm. along with a um, very famous pure art gallery that everybody knows right. on South Church Street and Denham Thompson Way. I think we all grew up like, buying trinkets there. And, and I think mm -hmm. Pure Art's a great um, example of different ways in. You know, they have a remarkable um, series of prints um, that are, you know, very accessible price points. So if you're a young person looking at wanting to buy some original art or prints of original art. Prints and photography is a great way in. Um, and, you know, we're not looking at thousands of dollars of paintings. We're looking at every price point for every collector. So think about the prints at places like Pure Art. Um, and then uh, the established galleries being some of the ones further out. And of course, we've got open studios as well. So we're going into artist studios like Charles Long, who again, has been creating in Cayman, right behind the yeah, nice, nice plug there. I love yeah. it. Um, Charles has been painting in Cayman since the late 60s. So he really is one of our longest running um, living visual artists. And he will be there on Saturday morning talking about his work. So these are really unique opportunities to go into the spaces, meet the artists that are doing the actual creation, um, talk to the gallery owners about how to run galleries. Um, and as you said about last night, these are Art can sometimes sound a bit intimidating, but it's absolutely the opposite. People are welcoming. They um, are part of this big celebration of creativity. They want to talk about their work and share it with the public. So even if you're just interested in learning more about Caymanian art, this is a great opportunity to do that. Definitely. And also, if you like an artist's style, don't be afraid to, to, you know, to bounce ideas off of, of them, of different things that they would be willing to commission. For example, even um, at Award Art Gallery, Avril, she does a lot of functional art. 
So she can make these crazy, amazing tables that are art pieces all on their own. And so all of them have lots of hidden talents as well. So if you like something, make sure to, to talk to them. And, and instead of importing or, you know, we, we buy local, support our local artists, yeah. and then we get something that is unique to Cayman, for sure. So yes, remind us often, of, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say often unique to you as well, as you said, mm -hmm. if you're commissioning a piece, you know, you can have a great collaboration with an artist where there's your story that's embedded in the work that they're creating too. So there's many different ways into to the idea of collecting local art and supporting the local art. Definitely. Can you remind us, so for today, what can people look forward to attending? Okay, so today, um, and, and this is the same sort of every day for the rest of the week, mm -hmm. are pop-up galleries, which are places, as you mentioned, like Akin and um, a Ward Art Gallery, which are both in Monaco Towers, next to Bread and Pocket, in between Bread and Pocket and our wonderful National Library building. Um, and of course, pop-ups at um, other venues around town. It's all on the website. Those will be open daily. And then of course, we have special events in the evening. Our big events kick off from tomorrow evening in Grand Cayman, and that's the Seven Mile Beach um, bus loop, six different venues um, participating. And then on Friday night, we have a huge collaboration with the Georgetown Revitalization Group in central Georgetown with again, hop on, hop off bus tours of 10 different creative venues in Georgetown. Saturday is the Eastern Districts, and you do need to register for these uh, tour elements just so we can get numbers and make sure we have enough room on the buses. So if you jump on the um, caymanartweek.com slash events, scroll down, get to know what is going on in general. All of the evening receptions are open to the public and they will have artists present. You can talk directly to them about their work, but do register for those bus tour components uh, just so that we can have numbers. It's totally free. There is no admission fee. We want to make sure there's no barriers to accessing all of these events. Um, but today as well, the exciting thing is our sister islands um, partners are going to be launching and we're hoping to hear from them later on today. Yeah. Um, but we have Gordon Solomon, who is really leading uh, the conversation in the Brat through his gallery, the Solomon Studio. And he is going live tonight as well um, via Facebook Live, um, Gordon Solomon, Solomon Studio on Facebook. So you can actually dial into the Brat and see what is going on in Kim and Brat too. If you're in Cayman Brat, Gordon also has an open house this evening from six till eight. Um, so go down, give him some support for this live feed, get to know what he's doing. And he's got all sorts of events this week. Uh, also in Cayman Brat, we have the beautiful National Gallery exhibition, Seascapes at the Cayman Brat Beach Resort, which is again open to the public throughout the day. And then on Saturday, we're gonna be going to Simone Scott's um, Nim Things Art Studio, which has amazing, um, crafts and art by both Simone and other artisans in Cayman Brat. So that's Saturday open studio day. And then in Little Cayman from today, the Little Cayman Museum is hosting artist Debbie Trucken for a pop-up exhibition in their space. But of course they also are hosting the National Gallery's Cayman Islands Biennial um, with 10 artists from Grand Cayman and Little Cayman. So that's another really great show to go check out in Little Cayman. Awesome. Well, it sounds like an exciting week. It's going to fly by, I'm sure. Um, but we encourage everyone um, sign up for the bus tour so you can be part of it. And, you know, take a cultural lunch break, go to visit one of the galleries and just take in some of the art and some of the pop-up exhibits. The, a lot of the artists are really there. Um, yeah, so it's a very intimate conversation with an artist and they're always the most unique, amazing people. So. Um, and stop by one, yeah, and one thing to think about if you have a, a, a business or you know you're responsible for a team of people, definitely consider bringing out your team, have some social time, and you know engage with creative culture at the same time. So if you're interested in doing that and you want to organize your own bus, um, just give us uh, an email at info at paymentartweek.com, and we're happy to help you coordinate that and tell you a bit more about the program. Awesome. Yeah, so anything you missed or any questions you have, caymanartweek.com is a great reference uh, to figure everything out or just send an email for more information. But it's, it, there's a, a great event calendar there. We'll be posting it up today as well, as well as um, debuting the, the short film. It's all ready to go, so we should be seeing it today. Um, <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah.
So uh, yeah, very exciting. Congrats, and hopefully everything continues and uh, and the weather. It's looking wonderful. So it's looking good. We had a shower, but that was like you know yeah. cools things down a little bit. We love that. <laughs> Our plants across came and love that and need that. So that's yeah. fine. And that's I just want to say a big thank you if I made to you guys as a as a supporter of Cayman Art Week, you've been amazing. Thank you to our other lead partners, Providence Properties, Cayman Islands, National Gallery, Susan Oldie, Georgetown Revitalization. I mean, this really is a big community effort. Everyone's just come on board to, to help the art sector in these times. And uh, we now need the public to do that too. So come on down, get involved and uh, enjoy, celebrate. Awesome. Well, happy Cayman Art Week, Cayman. <laughs> Take advantage and thank you to Natalie and all your wonderful team. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.